Hi, it's Joe from WHR Marketing and today I'm going to show you how to use the SEMrush SEO content template and the SEMrush SEO writing assistant. So if you uh, saw my video from last time, you'll see that we did some topic research on indoor plants, okay? So we'll focus the video again on indoor plants when it comes to um, our content template. So we've got all of these ideas here. So if I go here, back to our SEO content template, if I type in indoor plants, okay, I'll keep the audience for US, you, you, you can change that to wherever you're based. And then all I need to do is press create SEO template. What that's gonna do is analyze my top 10 ranking rivals for each of those keywords. So I've only used indoor plants. So if you went to Google, indoor plants, um, these would be my, uh, th these would be the, the 10 on the front page of Google. Okay, and you can check those by clicking those blue links there. Okay, but what this does, is really, really useful because it finds semantically related words um, from those 10 pages. So those 10 pages, okay, would have all had these words in. So snake plant would be on every single one of those 10, uh, 10 different competitors' pages there. Okay, so I know um, to help me rank for indoor plants, I'm gonna have to include all of these words within my article because all 10 rivals have used these words and it's helped them to get to the top page of Google for indoor plants. Then I can see these websites here. These are websites where lots of these uh, competitors have got backlinks from, which have helped them to uh, rank on that Google page one again. So I know I need to target these websites. I need to show them my content and explain why they should use our content, okay, based on indoor plants. I need to make sure the readability score is around my rivals, if not slightly better, and the recommended text length for, for this article needs to be around uh, 1,200 words, as you can see here. So I can see how my competitors use the target keywords um, within their article, um, within their headlines, and so on. So as you can see, it's highlighted them here. And then there's one more bit before I move on to the writing assistant, which I'll also show you in, in WordPress as well. So you can see the SEMrush tool linked to WordPress as well, which will be really useful for you. So here's the last few basic recommendations. So add at least one of your target keywords. Um, don't use each target keyword more than one time. So I, in my title, I don't want to be um, duplicating indoor plants, so I'm only gonna use that once. Um, the title length needs to be around 55 characters. Um, the meta description, if I can aim for 160 characters, that's what each of these um, 10 rivals have been doing that I've got managed to get to the front page of Google. Um, again, for my H1 tag, just use um, indoor plants once, and I'll, I'll within my content, I'm clearly gonna have to use indoor plants anyway. So that will be, my content template, I can export that to a Word document. Um, so obviously you might have people writing content for you. We provide a content writing service so you can use ours if you want. I'll leave a link in the um, YouTube description below. Um, then you want to use real-time content check. You can use this or you can go straight to your, Word uh, your, your WordPress account, okay? So look, this is how this will work. So you can optimize it for H1 tags. If I highlight that, there's my H1 tags. And if, as you can see, as I'm writing, it's gonna show you what's working for my SEO, my readability, my tone of voice. And then this is a feature um, in, in the package or plan I've got for SEMrush. I've got five per month, so I can scan this in at the end although I know it's original because I'm going to be writing it myself. And then if you look down here where it says SEO, sorry, I'll scroll down. It says add these keywords within. So if I type something like green leaves, it will highlight that I've used that word. Um, I don't know what I'll be writing on that. Then when I write living room, 
it will highlight here. So I know um, the ones that words that are not highlighted, I'm going to have to include somewhere within my content to help me rank. Okay. So this is an amazing feature. I'll show you what that looks like within uh, the word within my WordPress in a minute for one of my articles. Um, but I'll I'll head over to here for my SEO writing assistant. So um, this is it in a more expanded version, so it's much easier to see. So here in the SEO writing assistant, so all you do is type in your keywords. You'll have you'll have even more than this. You might want to put snake plant or whatever we, we saw that was uh, being recommended in those semantic words. And again, this will just do the same thing. So indoor plants, I type that, made it a H1. You only want one H1, by the way. Blah, blah, blah. Just do my content how I would. Right, now I want to show you um, a piece of my content that I've used um, that I've made, sorry, using the SEMrush SEO content template and the SEO writing assistant. So this is in the back end of my WordPress. So this is on a long tail pro review, which I've just made. So have a look. So this is on the visual side. If I scroll down, you can see my Yoast score. I've got the green light for SEO. I've got the green light for readability. Then if you keep scrolling down, once you've added the uh, SEMrush tool here, so the SEMrush SEO Writing Assistant is within my back end. So I'm scoring a 9.3 out of 10, probably a lot higher because I know it's original content. So that will be right towards the 10 if I used one of my five per month. I'm not going to use it because I know I've made it myself. Um, so that will score even higher. That's the reason that one hasn't come up. So I'll show you what you can do. So. I click on readability. So my target is 69.8. So my, my competitors, um, their readability is scoring 69.8. So I can, even though it's green, I can make it slightly better, slightly more um, user friendly to get to that target. Um, my words, I'm, I've made my, my writing more detailed than my competitors. My title, they've all got the green ticks here. Fantastic stuff there. All paragraphs are properly sized. Here's another thing. Look, I can improve these. Rewrite hard to read sentences. So if I click that, I can go, I can click Control F. It will take it within here. It will tell me I need to rewrite this to make it easier to read for my audience. And that will also affect the reading score. So that the readability score. So if I start correcting all of those sentences there, so making them more user friendly, then that will push this score up. It will push um, a decimal point up probably as well in my perfect score. Replace two complex words. So alternatively, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I can make that more simple. I'm not going to do any of this now, just showing you. Then if I check SEO, the keyword I want to rank for is in green. Okay, all of these semantic words I've used, but look now it's coming up with more suggestions. Okay, so it's constantly updating, which is great. So it means when I update my content, I can add in research keywords, rank tracking, and affiliate links here. Okay, so very easy to see here. Links to improve. I've linked to my home page there, one of them. That's fine. I don't need to worry about those ones. Title's fine. Tone of voice. Let's see if I've got any issues here. I'm 94% consistent. Okay, so that's that's good. I've got quite a few formal sentences, so it depends how I want to um, deploy that. But as you can see, it's all there. And like I said, I'll just show you originality. I'm not going to click it. I've used two of my five checks per month. But if I wanted, I know it's original anyway. But if I wanted to check for original. Uh, originality then that will definitely increase so I'll probably be looking towards more than 9.8 9.9 okay so that's it for today guys please subscribe to the channel please like the video so that was your SEO content template your SEO writing assistant following on from your topic research tool um, like I said before if you prefer reading rather than um, videos please check out our SEMrush review. I'll leave the description, uh, the 
link in the description below okay we have a free online business report as well which I'll put in the link in the description below um, and we've got lots of discount um, when it comes to SEMrush and that link is in the description below if you put, if you want to save lots of money um, using this amazing SEO tool it's literally SEMrush and Longtail Pro my two favorites as well as Arif's okay I'm Joe from WHR Marketing see you next time